Trigonometry in a right angle triangle. Grade B GCSE topic or level 8 key stage 3 topic. Now things we should know about a right angle triangle when we're using trigonometry are uh, first of all the sides. How do we label the sides? Now we need to know those so that we can use these three ratios, these three equations that are the basis of trigonometry in a right angle triangle. So if we can label the sides up we start with hypotenuse which is the opposite side to the right angle and that's the longest side of any right angle triangle. The other two sides, the opposite and the adjacent, depend on what angle we're using. If we're using this angle, call it A, then our opposite side is the one that's opposite the angle, it's over here. And our adjacent side is the one that's next to the angle that is not the hypotenuse. And that's the adjacent. Now if we're using the other angle, so we're using this angle up here. The hypotenuse is still opposite the right angle triangle, but now our opposite side is over here, and our adjacent side is here. So it does depend which angles we're using uh, to how we label the triangle up, and we should do that before we try to use any of these formulas. Another thing that can help us is formula triangle. If we're trying to remember the, the Sokotoa formulas and how to use them, if we write them out and put them into triangles then if you're familiar with speed distance time triangles then that shows you how to manipulate the formulas and I'll use that when I'm going through some examples in a minute. Okay, trying to find the angle. So these formulas um, SOH, CAH and TOA allow us to work out missing angles and missing sides in right angle triangles. This first one, if we label it up, the longest side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse, the opposite side to the angle is 8 and the adjacent side is not involved. We now need to pick which formula to use. So we're using the angle, the opposite and the hypotenuse. And the one that's got that involved is um, the sine formula. So um, we're going to use sine of the angle, and we've got the angle is x, is equal to the opposite side, which is 8, over the hypotenuse, which is 17. So when we're trying to find x, we need to use this inverse function called sine to the minus 1. So if we get our calculator and we type in shift sine gives us the sine to the minus 1 of 8 over 17 oops, bracket the wrong place, bracket needs to be on the outside um, our calculator will give us the answer that x is 28 point one to one decimal place or three significant figures. So that angle, twenty eight point one, will give us this ratio eight over seventeen. In the second one we uh, have the longest side, which is the hypotenuse, the opposite side to the angle, and the adjacent side is the last one we use. Now this time we've got the hypotenuse, the adjacent and the angle. Okay, so we're using just so happens the middle formula. So if we write that out, uh, cos equals sorry, cos of the angle x equals the adjacent side, which is 13.8 over the hypotenuse 21.6, and we want to find x, so we have to use the inverse of cos to get back to the angle. So we need shift cos and we're doing 13.8 over 21.6 to come out of there, close the bracket. You should always close a bracket in this, although a lot of the time it doesn't matter. And we get 50 what 50 point three to one decimal place. Or three significant figures. And the last one for angles, um probably guess what the form is going to be but we'll go through the process. This is the hypotenuse, 
this is the opposite this is the adjacent so we're using the opposite and the adjacent and the angle so that's the tan formula tan of x equals opposite 7.1 of the adjacent 9.1 so x is the inverse tan tan to the minus 1 7.1 over 9.1 so inverse tan 7.1 over 9.1 and that gives us an answer of 30 8.0 and I'm going to use three different figures that time. Now when you're doing uh, these sort of questions sometimes they ask you to put your answer to a suitable degree of accuracy. Now that's usually three different figures. When you're dealing with angles you can use to the nearest angle, nearest degree I should say. Okay, trying to find the side of a right, um, missing side on a right angle triangle. Okay, so um, missing side. You, again, our rules: sine opposite hypotenuse, cos adjacent hypotenuse, um, tan opposite over adjacent. Now, this question is the angle we are trying. We're going to label it hypotenuse opposite adjacent. Now we've got the adjacent side, we're trying to find the opposite side and we were given the angle. So we want the adjacent and the opposite. The formula with the adjacent and the opposite is the tan formula. So this is tan of the angle. Oh, let's actually put the angle straight in. Tan of the angle, which is 33, equals the opposite over the adjacent. In this case, um, let's bring our calculator back in. Tan of 33 equals that. Now we need to keep that in our calculator. Let's just rub that, that little bit out there. Our adjacent side is 8.5. So to find the opposite side, if we're covering up the formula, that tells us we need to times the sine by the hypotenuse. So we've got tan 33, which is that value times by 8.5 so we're ta taking that tan value and times it by 8.5 don't round in, in the middle of your calculation only round at the end so you use the answer button or get the calculator to do it for you and to three significant figures 5.52 and that's centimeters okay the second one let's cover that up Second one, opposite is over here, the hypotenuse is over here, the adjacent is here. So we are trying to find the opposite, we're given the hypotenuse, and um, we're not using the adjacent. So the one without an A in it is the one we use, which is this one here. So we've got the sine. And actually, let's, let's actually go straight into using the formula triangle to help us get to the answer. So we're trying to find the opposite, so we're trying to find the opposite, so we cover that up and that means we're doing the sine of the angle, sine 30 times by the hypotenuse which is 9. And the sine of 30 should be a half times by 9, it's going to be 4.5 centimeters. And the last one we have the hypotenuse opposite the right angle, we have the opposite side, we have the adjacent side and this one we are using the adjacent and the hypotenuse and not the opposite so we're using the cosine formula. We're trying to find the adjacent side so we're trying to find that, we're going to cover that up so the adjacent side is equal to cos of the angle which is 50 times by the hypotenuse which is 23. So we go cos 50 times by close bracket times by 23. Okay, I'll just show you why it's important to close the bracket because if I hadn't closed the bracket then let's just get that right this would have happened cos 50 times by 23 uh, that 
that's totally wrong. Now the reason why that is because it's, it's actually multiplying the 15 and the 23 together and then doing the cos and not doing uh, the cos of 50 times by 23. And there we go, a recap on trig trigonometry in a right angle triangle.